Hi there. Mysterious from the Mysterious Show here. Happy New Year to you all. Oh boy. We've got a lot to talk about. I'm going to talk about the new WWE 2K game. Because I have it. And my personal thoughts on it. Well, I have it, and I played it, and I hear it is being received very poorly. And like, I understand why. I mean, because I've seen, I've seen the footage. I played the Xbox version and the PlayStation Four version, and only one of the versions I actually approve of. And that's the PlayStation 4 version, unfortunately, for you, you know, Xbox One fans and Xbox Scarlet fans. I say that because when I played it on the Xbox One, the glitches were unplayably annoying. Like, I would, you know, attack them over and over and they didn't fall down until like two hours after I don't attack them it's like what the hell was that so that was a red flag one and then like it kept getting cancelled out in the middle of the game or you couldn't even enter the mode without it getting kicking you out like, that's annoying. And some of the character models, like the wrestler models, didn't look like their real life counterparts. Like, The Rock, um, Shawn Michaels, and Bret Hart. Rick Flair and others. I say that because like when I was playing with it, like half the face was missing and then like and then like when you would go to play like a battle royale or a money in the bank or a ladder match in general, like they will fall through the ring. I'm like What the hell? Like this game is really broken. Like, so, somebody bought it for their PlayStation 4, and I played it, and, like, it was the best experience I've ever had. Like, why can't both of them be like this? But, that's not all the pet parts I'm getting out of the way here. How about the fact that you have to buy the move thief? Oh my god, that is like the most stupidest thing I've ever seen in a wrestling game yet. And I don't see some shitty stuff in some wrestling games, let me tell you. WCW uh versus the world every Anyone? Or WCW Thunder? Anybody? A T-Rex fighting Santa Claus and Frosty the Snowman? Uh, no. And it's not all bad, though, because I, I found some things that I liked, such as create your own money in a bank case. Custom matches that you can make. And the career mode has got a whole new overhaul. Looking at you, SmackDown vs. Raw 2015. Ugh. Baron fucking Blade. Ugh. Like. The layout for. 16, 17, 19, and 20 are some of the best layout menus I've seen and witnessed in a long time. 
and I can't completely blame, you know, the company 2K for what happened because Ukes left them. So, Visual Concepts had to, you know, build it up from scratch. Because technically, it's their engine, and they can do whatever, because they're a company. But, you left them out to dry and out to hang without any any proper build-up, and left them to rush the game, and it's got so many glitches in it. Like, that's not, that's not right. But all in all, it's, it's not a bad game. The Four Ho- Horsewomen saga is in the showcase. And the women get to play Storm Mode roles for the first time ever. Like, thank God. And and I'm an atheist, so that must tell you something when I say something like that. Like, thank God. Like, like that's the be- Like that's the best part. And not only that, there's like a, a Central Towers has got an improvement too. Like, it's got like an arcade mode starring uh, Roman Reigns. And you get to live some of his best moments. And that that's fun. I mean, because just like uh, Rebecca Quinn, a.k.a. Becky Lynch. Those two are some of my favorite wrestlers. Along with the list I already have. Like, as far as... Women wrestlers, like... I respect them for what they do, but... I don't normally use them or play with them, but Becky Lynch, oh my god, I love her moveset, oh my god. (laughs) And then Charlotte, Sasha Banks, and Bailey too, what? What? Oh, that was like a dream come true for me with the four host women chapter. And then like... The commentary has improved. It has a lot more quotable things. And then, you know, I'll give you an example with the when you suplex, let's say Charlotte Flair and Corey Graves would say, "Text vertical suplex, bam!" Like, come on, who says that suplex, bam? That's funny. Like, that's funny to me. And. The, and the commentary team really stands out this time around because it's more realistic. I mean, it's like you're actually not only you playing the match, it's like you're actually watching it as if it was live. Like, they take shots at each other. They um, compensate well. It sounds great. And you, you get to uh, have, like, a five star um match quality you just gotta get all the stars unlocked. Like that that's fun. Now let's talk about, you know, China being in the game. Yeah, that's right. The ninth wonder in the world makes her appearance after a twenty forty years hiatus. Because the last time she was in the game, it was in 1999 to 2001, and games that she was in was SmackDown 1 and SmackDown 2, Know Your Role. Now, I understand, you know, she's dead and everything, so she can't have the voice acting thing. But come on, she should have been in the game a long ass time ago. Hey, come on. That's bullshit right there, man. I have to say, like, it's a really good game. And 
I'll talk to you guys later. See you soon. Thanks to Elise Billman. Anime Adventures is a good game. And a good show. Watch. Bye-bye.